My name is Nick Von Rook. Second wave of the set or the first one? This is Nick Von Rupp reporting here from early mornings in Mediciter. The wind is offshore again. We got some nice conditions, 2.4 meters at 16 seconds with offshore winds. And we're ready to surf. I want to make an official apology to my sponsors. <laughs> Sorry guys, I didn't have any stickers this morning. I think two kilos of mine, man. What a secret, it's a mistake. My board's probably gonna go pretty weird. Two middle fins and one side fin. They'll be fine. Sorry. Early mornings. I'm never good in the mornings. At least we got fins, you know? We could have not have any fins. Let's go. Man, that's Miguel's car. Let's see if his car's open. I think he left his car open, that little monkey. No way. He left the car open. Okay, we got some fins. We got some fins. You're an absolute lifesaver. Look at this guy, just leaves his car open in the middle of the parking lot with surfboards and wetsuits inside. Yeah, I'll thank you very much. We'll not have to surf with a center fin on the side of my board. Look at that one. Square the way we like it. Go, let's get out there. Winter's been good to us. <laughs> Score every day. Not bad, huh? Hey, olha me quem que me tá a ligar. Demacido. Como é que é, Nico? Pá, deu altas aqui na NASA, pá. Deu aqui uma ganda, deu aqui uma pedra ao cesto de beira até. Sério? Pagaste umas bombas? É pá, deu umas, deu umas. Olha lá, viste este, então? este swell para a Galiza, mano? Animal, man. Pá, era o que eu estava a pensar, graças. O Eric, o Eric já me ligou, estou excitado também. Pá, os ventos vão estar incríveis lá. Pá, bora lá, pá. a gente já não faz uma trip juntos há mil anos. Pá, <risos> era, era louco irmos. Last minute uh, decision maker. It's getting dark, we still got six hours in front of us, we're going to Galicia. We just came here and stopped by Nazaré. We got... Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. This guy traz me a wheelchair dele, meu atrás, man. Vamos fazer uma viagem de três dias e este gajo leva uma cadeirinha de rodas atrás, man. Mostra lá o que é que tens aí, saco de um bolzão para sair à noite contigo. Isto não vai caber três pranchas aqui dentro, brother. 
Pá, isto cabe lindamente. É, te... Não podes levar uma capa dentro de um carro, caraças. Isso... É pá, não vais levar um balde, por amor de Deus. Ele não viajou em 20 anos, é isso. Olha o que ele fez. Olha o que ele fez. Ele, tipo... O sled fit. <laughs> Duas para estou em duas ganhas, mas estás para onde? Se tivesse um bom argumento, te iria a experimentar uma praça. <risos> estou a experimentá-la, por isso se eu na primeira onda não curtir, esta eu sei, porque já surfei então, lá. Fica esta, vá. Bora. Não, vá lá. A outra já está na capa. Vamos levar duas para estou em. Vamos levar uma para estou em. Tu estás a levar duas de fibra. Massas. E daí, caraças? Ah. Massas, tu não vais levar duas. Quantas pranchas que eu estou a levar? Estou a levar três pranchas, ok? Eu também. <risos> Quando era um Grom, quando era pequeno, tu também, tu, tu também não decidia. Decidia? Não. Eu dava-te sempre, levavas as tuas pranchas todas, tu não. querias. Mas tu não tudo me dava, tu querias. Tu não me davas a opção de escolha. Esta é a prancha boa que tu senti-la. A prancha é boa, tu disseste que ela era boa. Eu sei. Pá, mas eu surfei com... We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Slow, man. I taught him everything, and he's still super slow. Me, on the other hand, I'm just pure efficiency. This music is dedicated to Joe Masiro. Accomplished, we made it. It's 3 a.m. Yesterday I was talking to Tom Lowe, telling him how tired I was to chase it. <laughs> Less than 24 hours later, I'm arriving in Galicia at 3 a.m. with two jet skis in the back and Roma Sid bugging me all night. <laughs> Me and Drone, we go way back. I used to be a bodyboarder when I was nine, and Drone went over to my parents' house and convinced my parents that I should be a surfer. And 20 years later, we're sitting here surfing some of the biggest waves in the world. I've missed it, you know? I used to do all the comps with him, and he was my coach. And it's really cool to come to Galicia and share our passion together and realize that he's still the same. You go to a spot that you can do for two hours at the same time. Uma direita na maré seca, uma esquerda na maré cheia. E aquela história, né? Tudo, só tem tudo. <risos> Chegar ao final da viagem, não surfámos com as pranchas grandes de remada e ele só. Su... E ele só. E ele só. Só surfou com uma prancha de Tauhino. As malas que ele levou, as capas que ele levou, eu tinha dito que não iam servir de nada. Massas, admite! Admite. Eu errei. Eu errei. Got schooled by the old man today, huh? Old man with the spirit of a 
not old man, it's Papi. <laughs> papi Chulo. Don't get this guy angry, man, because then he's going to get into beast mode. You're not in age to beat me, man. <laughs> You know, back in the day we didn't have a, even have a car, now we have two jet skis in a car. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to be welcome with this kind of park. <laughs> it's been amazing to travel with John. We haven't done it in 15 years, maybe. Um, it brings back old memories. It feels like we were right back when <laughs> I was 15 and he was he was a coach giving me giving me shit all the time. He's still that little loose cannon. You know, Jean's quite a bit older than me, right? He's like, even though he's so gnarly. We both like the kind of same type of waves. We kind of surf the same. We like the similar type of waves. So doing this trip with him and, and surfing that left and seeing him catch the bomb of the day was just so fulfilling. Um, you know, like, it was sick he got the wave of the day right so the ride it's been surfed for for a couple years Axi had discovered the wave and uh, Antonio Silva almost died there a couple years ago and it's one of those rides I really wanted to surf but it's just so fickle and it's like you see 10 waves nine of them close out and one kind of opens but the one that opens is like the wave of your life so it's just like, it's one of those ways it's a hit or miss. Ron didn't want to surf because there's just too much risk involved. Open up the session, I, I got like one or right one where I was like riding in the pocket. And next thing I know, Eric is like pulling me in so deep on one. And I just see the lip come flying down. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm exactly in that position I did not want to be in. Um, it was like, oh shit. So I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, I know this wave pounds you, takes you very deep. So I'm going straight. I see it's going to close out. There's nothing I can do. I'm like already grabbing onto my vest, ready to pull it. And that's what I did. The thing, the foam ball just caught up on me and, and, uh, and I pulled right away. It dragged me for a long time. There's like underwater currents and stuff, which was really gnarly. I got super pounded and that was it for, for me. Overall, it was a really sick trip. Galicia is a mission uh, and driving up with two jet skis and getting two jet skis into a ramp with all the weight was a hell of a mission. We drove a lot, we surfed a lot, it was really raining and stormy. There's a lot of arguing going down, a lot of decisions making, but in overall that's, you know, it was a sick trip. biggest storm since Hercules 2014, which was the biggest storm ever. How do you get a boat out here? The Zodiac, the guy's crazy. He's like the jet ski is working today. 